Hello from Western New York. And, um, purpose of this video, quite literally, asking a lot of questions, really, and, you well, know, these roses are coming along pretty good. I mean, I got a couple of good buds on this little section, and got some more coming along, and a few others. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Definitely on this. Um, that's here, question number one. Let's start with um, blueberries. Um, as you can see, these are about the size of my hand. These are supposed to be a, a high bush. Uh, about how long does it take to get to them to about oh, two or three feet tall? There's a good question. I wouldn't mind knowing. <laughs> Um, let's start off with that question. If any of you happen to know the answer, let me know. I'm asking for tips. Um, let's see here. I got a pink lemonade and uh, well, a couple of pink lemonades. And I got a couple. I think I got some southern varieties, and they may not, may have been affected by. Well, these two. I think what the issue of this one is. So they anyway, had some flowers or starting to turn into berries or put them in the ground and because if you take a look down on the bottom I got a number of fall, what looks to be fallen berries you know the, the half developed berries although that ain't so much the ain't so much of a question but uh, got any tricks on how to protect uh, a um, a plant from a more sensitive climate you know Preferably so that way it doesn't suffer from so much winter dieback so that we can get some good fruit on it. You know, hopefully. Guess another question might be got any tips for growing uh, um, blueberries in soil that is above uh, pH of uh, 5? Because my uh, pH is about 6.5, 6.5, or thereabouts. Another question might be is how often do, is, do your cuttings, which looked really promising, you know, when you made them in the summer, only for them to die in over the winter. How often does that happen? You know? <laughs> Wouldn't mind knowing because pretty much all the rose cuttings I had whoop, all dead. I'll say for one and said one is <laughs> ironically enough a a miniature Rose, I believe. Might have to do a little bit of cutting to remove out a dead stalk, but it's doing okay. That being said, the others three that that I had bought for the store and put in the ground, they're doing pretty good. And she here, bleeding heart. Anyone know how long those things take to grow? <laughs> Probably not going to see anything until next year. <laughs> honeyberries. You yeah, know If you know anything about honeyberries, tell me. Am I going to get any berries next year? Because I put them in the ground this year. Or am I going to have to wait a few more years? Um, gooseberries, um, well, I don't think I have too many questions, other than, um, about when do these things ripen? I mean, it's, uh, I mean, it's, uh, June 6th at the moment, and, um, I'm kind of curious about how long they take to ripen. And, um, on the topic of gooseberries, um, How often do do your leaves turn red, this reddish color? And uh, 
Yeah, do you know why? Um, I'm kind of concerned. You know, I mean, I don't know if it's like some sort of... I mean, for all I know, these things might... I might want to, you know, get... Mix up some of my... My soil and... Sort of, um... You know, place it around the ground that way to get... Like a little bit of fertilizer or something. Wouldn't mind knowing that. Hmm. You know, and I've also seen some yellowing on my... And these currants. Or is that just them getting aging, you know? <laughs> you know? Because uh, this quite literally was nothing more than a stump. And now it's... Um... Um... I'd say... Let's get a... A, st a measuring a ruler, at least a foot, you know, 12 inches or about 30 centimeters, uh, give or take. Um, which is kind of good, considering. Um, yeah. About uh, how tall do red hinamakes get in a year? This one's doing pretty good, you know. I mean, it's about maybe five inches, and well, maybe three, four inches tall. Of course, this one is <laughs> well about up to my second. About up to here, if that, and it's not real thick or anything like that. Yeah. Gonna need to do a little bit of shaping on my gooseberry at some point. Um, got any recommendation on how you prune? A goose, uh, I mean a, uh, a, uh, a grape. Okay, I could probably find a few tips on how to do that. Although, the, I like, although I didn't prune this at all this spring, I plant. I might do it next spring. Um, got any suggestions on this? I mean, it's like, I mean, it's got some. Really good growth, but it's not growing the way I want it. That being said, I do have a few other things that I just might use instead. And with this, I'm debating as to whether or not I should um, cut it back, you know. And uh, start over on it, or try to hope, hope for some nice growth on a few of the buds. What am I asking a similar question on this one? I mean, this one here's got some damage here, you know, and, and there's, of course, this one, which is well, it would have to be tied up, of course. Hmm. 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 Looking at it, some of <laughs> these I think I got a, a sumac growing in here, or two. <laughs> yep. I think I got two sumacs growing. Although, how, I don't know. <laughs> and I know I got a rose growing over here. Small, but it looks like a rose to me. And as you might have 
notice in my one previous video I did put a, a root thing over in here I might have sprung up from it and then of course you get all these weeds that need to be removed Yeah, it's some more to deal with. I probably had to do with that with mom. <laughs> um, I know I should probably set up a trellis system for my raspberries here, as well as my other well, couple of blackberries I've got, you know. Um, hmm. okay, I wonder if I should leave these maples right along in here or if I should just cut them out. Might end up doing that just sometime. <coughs> well, looks like the wild uh, blackberries don't like being removed from the field. I did see something similar to this with my wilds last year. There was some drooping, quite a few of them died. But the ones that made it survived, thrive, and are thriving. We just hope something similar happens here. Just one of them makes it. If just one of them makes it, it's all good. Yeah, wilds well, are coming along pretty good, like I said. This is coming along real good. And, um... I'll be honest, it's been a while since I've had a, a blackberry. Don't think any of mine have actually produced any. And speaking of blackberries, um... Well, blackberry... Black... Berries, you know, berries that are black. <laughs> My black raspberries, I mean. As you can see, got a good number of flowers here. Good number of flowers here. Or at least, uh, you know, these little thingies to say, there's the flowers here, please land them, please pollinate. Both the both there and over here with the jewel and uh, bristol um, I'm looking at probably my first crop of blackberry black raspberries in more than a few years and um, looks like the fall golds are are coming along you know That'll be nice. 
and um, as you can see this is starting to grow its little branch its branches so that we hopefully next year I'll have some uh, more have like at least two three branches on each of these canes which will hopefully produce a good number of black raspberries for me and of course eventually when these get in, probably gonna end up cutting them at the end so tips off of the at least this one at the by the end of this week you know because you know I mean that way it can produce its branches um that way you get more berries than what you would on just one cane you know one uh, you know you'd only get one cluster and these are coming along still kinda debating over if I should um, um after this spring uh, harvest after I enjoy my heritage in Polono here and I got some weeds to deal with I'm not quite sure if I should uh, wait until fall enjoy the crop then you know heritage in the Polono as well as the fall gold and um, there's some others I'm looking at to hope to put in the ground around in here um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out if I should uh, enjoy the fall crop and then cut them down all the way to the ground and wait for next year for them to start all over again or if um, you know I should treat this as a two crop plant you know um, I guess I'll have to figure that one out for myself well this is uh, Western New York and um, oh one moment one moment I guess I must forget about the, <coughs> the elderberries they, they don't look all that good I think the hour-long drive may have at, least, at the very least they the leaves are I don't know I mean, obviously I mean they're no the leaves are no good I mean, but uh, who knows? Maybe there'll be some new shoots. I mean, and, uh, well, anyways, let's uh, look at the choke cherry. I mean, yeah, and a number of shoots that you know they're they're coming. I mean, they're just these things are doing good. I mean, I mean, I, I'm probably gonna have to do some checking in the fall to see about removing some of this stuff. You know, manage it. You know, I mean. You know, trim it back, cut down some of the. I know I cut out a couple of the things, you know. And, Absolutely nothing on this. Dead. <sighs> Gonna need to go through this with a proverbial old fine tooth comb and remove the dead stuff. But this is a very overgrown wild bush. There's a couple others I'm gonna might end up having to deal with in the fall and early spring. Whew. But hopefully that'll distract the birds, you know. From the majority of my crops. And hopefully these elderberries will come back and try and give my uh my uh, uh my uh raspberries a bit of a some protection from the wind 
You know? <sighs> Starting on that. Yeah, you know, unless I decided to give myself a bunch of square bales and <laughs> sort of fence them or something, you know. Well, this is Western New York. Subscribe if you like this. Uh, Post comments, you know, maybe answer some of my questions, give me some tips, ask me questions, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to me, uh, share this with your friends, uh, you know, that sort of stuff. Okay, goodbye.